dancing on the pole. How you want that? I'm like that. You want that? I want that. I go bottom. What up, y'all? It's Nikari here, and today we're gonna be seeing what's in my trunk. Let's go. All right, y'all, so we back. And today, I'm going to be showing off my polyester collection. Ooh! Just in time for the summer, man, you know what I mean? So, let's do this thing, come on. All right, so, first starting off, um, as you can see, got a bunch of shirts um, lined up. A little bit of my collection right here that I collected over time, some of my favorites right here, as you can see. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take the time and go through these things, man. So let's, uh, let's start off with this one right here. The Willie Esco Banga. Willie Esco, pretty sure y'all familiar with that Nas. Willie Esco himself, um, all over print. As you can see, most of these will be all over prints. As you can see, very popular design. Late 90s, early 2000s, a lot of brands were using it. So a lot of uh, monogram print gonna be going on on these, man. Next, we got this FUBU piece, long sleeve. It's a nice one, man. These things are perfect, man. You could literally wear this thing in the summer and be straight. Next, I got one of my favorite long sleeves, I'm not gonna lie. This one is NASCAR, you can say, inspired, race inspired. Um, got the dice on there, the Fat Farm, racing team, motorsports. On the back and bam this is the best part right here Def Jam 2000 on the sleeve next we got another fat farm piece right here the chainsaws Texas Chainsaw Massacre banger very fire the green and the yellow go together perfect I love this one. I don't know if y'all ready for this one right here. Another Fat Farm banger. So y'all know who that is. I don't know if y'all can see closely. That's her. Kamora Lee. The young one though. I'm not sure how old she was on there. She looks pretty young. But yeah. All over print. Pretty. I want to know the story about how she got on this shirt. That's kind of crazy. Player University, Players University. I love this shirt. The Bentley Arnage Coupes. Come on, the Arnage Coupe. Seen this, seen this car in every video. Every single video you watch. Matter of fact, you know what? Might just put this one on. Yeah, I'm gonna try this one on. Let's see, what, let's see what's going on real quick. Right, bam. So here we go. I had to throw it on real quick. It's a beautiful day, so. I don't know why I didn't have one of these on anyway, honestly. But this is how it looks on all over print. You can never, ever, ever go wrong with this thing. Um, so yeah, let's keep it moving. Um, next piece, as you can see right here, um, another Player University piece. Same situation. I guess they were in love with the Bentley Arnage. As you can see, the Bentley Arnage Coupe. The hard top though. Fire. Next we got some platinum fubu. Platinum fubu. I love this piece, man, just the colors. The blocking, the color blocking on it. And the baby blue, I think they came out with this in different colors. Uh, I want to say it's like an orange one or something as well. But I love that one though, and the, um, the uh, light blue. 
Next, we got another Platinum Fubu um, from the Ali collection. Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time. This is a banger. A little detail. A little detail right here. Round one. White corner, black corner, a little signature on there. Very nice. Platinum FUBU Boxing Commission. <laughs> Next, I got this Johnny Blaze. Method Man to Cal. Um, a lot of people, man, used to be rocking this. But uh, there is an ad with, I think, Nori is wearing this. So if you look through some of them old magazines, you'll find an ad with uh, Nori wearing this exact piece right here. Love Johnny Blaze. Next is a very random find, but it just looks cool as hell. The colors together, it's fire. <laughs> Venom and Spider Man. <laughs> very random. Marvel comic. Um, but yeah, this is fire. Like the colors are just wild, man. The blue with the black and the red together, yeah, it's hidden. Next, not sure how to pronounce this brand, Grandeur, I think. I'm not sure what it is, um, but I just grabbed it because it had all these rims on here. Yeah, this is like some ghetto fabulous shit, so you know I love to partake in shit like that, so I had to pick up on this one. Look like some Giovanni rims or something. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll put this one on. Shit, let's do it. All right, so I'm back. Got the Grandeur on. Um, yeah, Giovanni, little Giovanni rims on here. Whatever they may be. Um, yeah, we're rocking. So let's continue. Um, let's go on to this next one, Changes. is the name of this brand, Changes. Um, it's the Bruce Lee. There is no way I could not get this when I found it. And I actually found this one in the, um, in the Marvel comic one at the same time. So, yeah, same day, same time. Your little pickup with the um, black and orange busting. The Bruce Lee. Yeah. This is fire. Next, we got some KK, the Carl Kanai. Very uniform look. Nice, though, the little Kanai right here. I like this one. Very nice and subtle. The little print down here at the bottom. Yeah, it's fine. Can't go wrong with the black polyester. Black polyester always look good. Next one, Trust. It's the name of this one. Name of this brand, Trust. Like I said, another random find. Um, got rims on it. Of course I got it. Um, but yeah, very nice, man. Uh, it says Trust. <laughs> so I guess the rims are Trust rims. That's cool. But yeah, nice piece, man. Next, we got the O, the big O, the big symbol, the O. Y'all know what this is, man. Outcast Clothing. Outcast Clothing Company. Um, very fire piece. Um, you know, as you know, this is their logo. Seen and used on everything from music videos to albums. So, yeah, you know what it is when you see this. Next, I got another Outcast piece. This is more of an art one. Um, yeah, this one is just fire, honestly. Feel like something that would be on like the Quimini album or something. You know how they like to use a lot of colors and shit, man. Um, very expressive, so. Yeah, this fire. I actually like this one better with what I got on right now. So I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, put this shit on now. Yeah. All right. I think I got it. I think I'm back in. Um, yeah, here it go, man. This is how this one look on. Shit's fire. Can't go wrong with some lime green, man. Get some colors in your life, baby. All right, here we go. World champion, Fox, 
speed collection, um, moto racing, motorcycles. Um, as y'all know, motorcycles, especially sport bikes, man, were super big, man, early 2000s, late 90s. I mean, they still big now, but yeah, niggas was rocking different early 2000s. So yeah, different color bikes, very fire piece for all my bikers. I'm not a biker, but I love the shirt. Next, I got a um, Ava Race piece. It ain't a leather, but it's the polyester. You can see all over print monogram situation. Bussin. As always, man, like I said before, you can't go wrong with a black polyester, man. You cannot. Next, got a Pelly Pelly. Like I said, it ain't leather, it's polyester. Pulling the polys out today. Um, yeah, this one is very fire. Remind me of like Miami or something, man. The little palm trees or whatever situation. Nice little detail, nice little art piece, man. The Mark Buchanan Pelly Pelly. Next, we got another Pelly Pelly. Mark Buchanan. It's more like a Black Olympian type situation. I don't know, man. This is fire, though. Um, yeah, fire. This was actually featured in um, in the short film uh, that I did, Wardrobe Four, uh, Glitter and Gold. So, yeah, this was a piece that actually got used in the film. Next, got that woo. I've been waiting on these, y'all. Got the Wu Tang long sleeve. I love this shirt, man. Can't get more perfect than this. The all over print with the symbol and the spell out Wu wear all over. Nice and crispy. They even got it in the inside of the Wu symbol. It's fire. Good detail. Next, I got the Rockerwear Banger. Now, look, man, this one is crazy because it actually has different, like, sayings on it near the Rockerwear um, logo and around it. Uh, the, f the flame says it all. You realize um, it's not just a name. Demand respect. Be visible. An established vision. Lifestyle clothing. A real statement. Um, the takeover, yeah, an established vision, yeah, man. This one is real, man. Um, I love this one. Not only that, man, I love the color. Them bright, them bright um, polyesters, man. They hit different, especially when it's warm outside. Uh, and yeah, right about now it's warm outside, so I think I'm gonna try this one on too for y'all, just so y'all can get a feel of how it looks, especially with the timbos, man. Got to do it. Right, so we back. Ooh, yeah, I like this one. What do you say? Jigga. Uh -huh. <laughs> man, I love this shirt, man. This shit's so far, man. This logo, man, is so infamous, man. Um, but yeah, right, right, moving along. Get on to the last piece right here. Um, got this last woo wear right here. As you can see, all over print. Same situation, like I said before, uh, from the last piece, from the last woo wear piece. All over print, the Woo logo, and the spell out Woo wear all over. And this is in red. And I actually have a couple of this same one to, uh, in the archive. So um, a couple of these I have, I have a few of. So yeah. Um, so yeah, y'all, that was it. Thank y'all for tuning in with me. Um, first little episode of In My Trunk and uh, we will continue to do uh, different things and yeah, I uh, look forward to seeing y'all in the next episode I definitely will have more episodes coming and on the way and we will, yeah, we're gonna do that so I'll see y'all later